Hello, everybody. My name's Jenny. I'm very happy because I found that many children around the world like helping. Helping around the world makes you and me very happy. Many children like helping at home. I always help at home too. For example, I feed my cat every day. I mop the floor every week. We use simple present tense for those repeated actions that I mentioned in the last lesson. Today we are going to learn something new. When we talk about fact, we also use simple present tense. For example, I am a girl. My cat is brown. We use simple present tense too. Wow, I got it. This is the way when to use the tense. First, when we talk about habits, we can use simple present tense. Another situation when we want to talk about fact that means something true, we can use simple present tense. I am a girl, my cat is brown, is true. Wow, you are clever! Before we learn how to use simple present tense, let's take a look how children around the world help at home. You know, even my pet helps at home too. Let's take a look. Fold. Fold the clothes. Fold. Water. What are the plants? What are? Make. Make a cake. Make. Sweep. Sweep the floor. Sweep. Wash. Wash the dishes. Wash. Carry, carry the books, carry. Tidy, tidy the shelf, tidy. Catch, catch a mouse, catch. Do housework, do housework, do. For those action words, we call them verbs, verbs. Hmm, then how do we form the simple present tense? Let's take a look. Do you remember this present tense table? We use the base form of the verbs after I, you, we, they. And we need to add S for the base forms of the verbs after he, she, it. Today, we are going to learn something new how to form simple present tense. Let's take a look. I make a cake. He makes a cake. She makes a cake.
I fold the clothes. She folds the clothes. He folds the clothes. I wash the dishes. They wash the dishes. She washes the dishes. I dry the dishes. We dry the dishes. She dries the dishes. He dries the dishes. Do you know how we form the simple present tense? Let's take a look again. I make a cake. I fold the clothes. I wash the dishes. I dry the dishes. He makes a cake. He folds the clothes. He washes the dishes. He dries the dishes. Can you find how we form the simple present tense? Remember, the key is the verbs. Look at the verbs and you will find out the rule. Wow, you are clever. In most cases, we only add S for the base forms of the verb after the he. In some cases, we add ES after he, she, it. In some cases, we turn it into I and then add ES. Look at this present tense table. We can see the rule here. After I, you, we, they, we use the base forms of the verb. But after he, she, it, in many cases, we use the base forms of the verbs with S. For the verbs ending in SH, CH, and O, we add ES. For the verbs ending in Y, we turn Y into I and then add ES. I like this table. This table is useful. The children around the world and I like helping at home. What do you think we are? Do you think we are helpful or lazy? Thank you, everyone. I know. I'm a helpful girl. He is a helpful boy. We all are helpful children. I found that there's another type of verbs. They are not actions. We call them verb to be. They are M, R, yes. After I, we use M. After you, we, they, we use R. After he, she, it, 
we use yes. For example, I am a helpful child. Sometimes when we talk about facts, we need verb to be to help us. Quiz time. Are you ready? Number one. A. I am a girl. B. I is a girl. Which one is correct? That's right. A is correct. Number two. A. He dries the dishes. B. He dries the dishes. Which one is correct? That's right. A is correct. Number three. It are brown. B. It is brown. Which one is correct? Great job. B is correct. If you want to do some more exercise or quiz, and you want to get the free handout, you may WhatsApp me by the following number in the description box, or you may do the rest of the quiz here, and you may check the answer here. I'm very happy because I learned how to share that the children around the world like helping at home. We all have the habits of helping at home. We are great. How about you? What did you learn today? We learn simple present tense. First of all, we learn. When to use the tense? When we talk about repeated actions like habits, routine, and we can use simple present tense. Next, when we talk about fact, like I am a girl, my cat is brown, we can use simple present tense too. After that. We learn how to form the tense. How do we form simple present tense? For the action verbs, after I, you, we, they, we use the base forms of the verb. After he, she, it, in most cases, we add s. For the base forms of the verb, for the verbs in s h c h o ending, we add yes. For the verbs in y ending, we add i e s and delete y. When we talk about fact, sometimes we don't need action verbs. We need another type of verbs to help. They are verb to be. Yes, am, are is the simple present tense of verb to be. Remember, after I, we use am. I am a helpful child. After you, we, they, we use are. You are helpful children. After he, she, it, we use yes. He is a helpful child. I am. You are. We are. They are. He is. She is. It is. Wow! It's easy. Great! You did it. 
See you next lesson. Bye.